fifth idea, and it's hard known, would be a toll highway. For the first few years after the corridor was built, there could be a toll booth. But it kind of defeats the notion of a monument to freedom. We could have the toll booths manned by the local community to prevent the potential for corruption by having the tolls collected by the government, I suggest. Either way, I think that once the corridor really gets going, it will fund itself. The tricky part will be getting the part built and started, I said. Chapter 13 After the presentation, I stood in the lobby a bit lost. It had taken so much energy to get to this point that I was a little stumped about what to do next. I've heard about Green Army 6.0, an interesting looking young lady asked me. Don't tell me there's more, I replied. They're saying it's to the climate emergency. If the first five groups haven't been enough, she told me in a fascinating kind of tone. Green Army 6.0 thinks it is such climate emergency that it's worth risking torrential rainstorms creating an evaporation pond every hundred meters or so across his hair and the Australian outback. They don't think the planting jungles or even trees is necessary for rather we should rely on the desert's natural ability to clean up after a rainstorm. And they are quite sure that their seawater evaporation ponds will do that. 